YouTube. I'm Crystal from Crystal Souls and Stuff on Instagram. And today I'm, I'm here at the Hollywood Retreat and Conference Center in Dickerson, Maryland. And today I'm interviewing Ms. T. Jones Acty, President of the Maryland Chapter of the American Sewing Guild. Hi T, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you, Crystal? I'm great. And I just wanted to ask you a couple questions about your sewing experience and, and everything with the American Sewing Guild. So, can you tell us a little bit about your sewing story, when you started sewing, how long you've been sewing? Okay, I have been sewing since I was approximately 10 years old. I started off making doll clothes by hand, and then when I went to junior high school in 1973, I learned how to sew with a machine, and I just basically kept sewing. I've taken classes over the years to improve my skills, and it's just something I love to do. Okay. And when did you join the, how did you find out about the American Sewing Guild? I found out about the American Sewing Guild one year. I went to the Sewing Expo in Chantilly, Virginia. Okay. And at that time, the American Sewing Guild had an information booth set up. And one of the members asked me if I knew about it, and I said no. And the rest is history. I've been a member ever since. Um, I've held office of uh, president, this is my second time being president. I was president, treasurer, and um, I started off being a retreat coordinator because of American Sewing Guild. Okay. Everybody was talking about we should have a retreat, but nobody stepped forward to organize it, so I decided to give my hand a try at it, and we are on our 13th retreat so far. Okay, and I'm in, this is my first retreat, and I'm truly enjoying myself. Can you tell everybody what we do? Here on the retreat. Well, at this retreat, this is my own personal endeavor, uh, Just So Retreat. And what we do is we get together, it's sort of like a long weekend from Friday to Monday. I kind of scheduled up doing a holiday weekend. And we just come and sew. No formal classes, no agenda, just bring anything that you'd like to finish up sewing or begin sewing. And you can work at it here at the um, lodge. And I found this place, Hollywood just simply by Googling retreat centers in Maryland. Okay. So this is like my seventh one here. And the next one, uh, we're gonna venture out and make it a whole week. Okay. In August, we're gonna be here from Monday to Saturday. And I have about five people signed up already. All right. Um, so tell us about um, your sewing business. Well, my first business is Dress to a T. That is a garment, custom garment sewing business where I make custom attire for people. And I started that business, it really was like a part-time basis in 1986. Um, I had a tragic loss, my first husband passed away. And I had two little girls, three and five years old. And I needed to make extra money, but I didn't want to leave them after being gone to work all day. So I just started sewing for people. Something I could do at my home and not be away from them. And I just, I've been sewing for people ever since. Okay. And what is your favorite thing um, to make? My favorite thing to make would be gowns. I love evening wear. I do wedding gowns and prom gowns. It's nothing like seeing my wedding dress walk down the aisle. It just gives me goose pimples. I love it. So I think making wedding dresses would be my favorite, most favorite thing to do. Do you have any tips for anybody who wants to start a I would say take some sort of entrepreneurial course. I was fortunate enough to be selected to attend Women Entrepreneurs of Baltimore, well, I guess about 20 years ago. And it was like a six to eight week course that told you how to start a business, step by step, business plan, financial planning, marketing, and all like that. So I would, I would say take a little small course. You have SCORE. Um, SBA, Small Business Association, they offer classes, I would say do that. But now, with Google, with the internet, there's just tons of stuff you can do to kind of get yourself ready. Yeah, yeah. And, okay, so do you have any tips? What's your proudest thing that you've ever made? My wedding dress. Okay. Yes, my wedding dress. One, I decided to make my wedding dress, and I got, when I got remarried in 2008, so I stayed home the whole entire July 4th weekend and just 
made my dress. In one weekend? In one weekend. Oh. The whole weekend. And I got married in 2004, not 2008. Okay. But that whole weekend, I didn't do anything. I stayed home and I just made my dress. And it was complete success. My niece even wore it. I altered it and she wore it to the cotillion at church. Oh, that is. That's so it's got, it was used twice. Okay, awesome. Okay, do you have any tips for um, our YouTube viewers all over the world? Oh. Um, uh, how to um, how to get in touch with other sewers in their community? Well, I would say look on Facebook. If you're on Facebook or Instagram, there are tons of sewing sewers out there, tons of groups. Join the ASG in your local area. We have chapters all over the state of Maryland. Just look up www.asg.org or check out Facebook groups. Check out Just So Retreat on Facebook. That's my group. And uh, we have about 400 members and hopefully we will keep on growing. Okay. So anything else would you like to share with our audience? I would just like to thank you, Crystal, for interviewing me. Oh, thank you so much for being up. For, for, for agreeing to do an interview. You're so welcome. All right. Thank you, you two. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.